Hello friends, I am Dr. Ajay Joshi. I welcome you to the platform of Global Teacher Educator. Today I am going to demonstrate you one tool of ICT. Its name is AdPuzzle. It's really very awesome app. And if you really learn it, you will definitely enjoy. This app is about making video lessons. So through this app, you will be able to create your own video lessons and you can teach remotely to your students. You can even flip your classes and it is good app for blended learning. So happy learning and enjoy. Let's start to create an account in AdPuzzle. So for that, you have to type AdPuzzle in your browser, then enter. Now you'll find this screen. If you are a new user, you can get some tutorial from this Get Started. If you already have an account, you can log in. But now I don't, don't have an account, so I'm going with sign up. So you should sign up as a teacher. Now here you are having two options. Either you sign up with AdPuzzle or sign up in with Google so I will sign up in with Google so now this pop-up window will come so I am choosing one account this is the account of my son now now I am almost here now it is asking for the first name and last name so you don't have to bother because you can type here and then you can type the password also here so it should take automatically I guess create an account I agree with it so password I want to type something here so I type this now I guess it should enter Now directly, you know, without typing anything, it has taken automatically my name and everything. Now here it is asking for your school name. Why it is asking? Because uh, if from your school, many teachers are already there. So you can collaborate and you can share the material. So now suppose I want to type the school name. My son's school name is Polykids. Polykids okay so I didn't find anything here so it's a new school city town suppose I put it in Dehradun okay so now I am adding this school if your school is already there then you need not to worry about it it will take it now see this are you looking for one of these schools so now there are so many polygate schools there so you can choose any one of them in which you are teaching so uh, I will choose okay I'll choose the first one okay now after choosing it now even you can change this setting these accounts in your setting the name of the school and extra from here see here so this is the name even you can change the name also profile you can change your name then you can change your school's name so this is the things from here you can go to settings you can make setting like preventing skipping when you add questions and comments whether you want your students to skip it or not so here is the option then a school if you want to change the name of the school you can change it later no problem so this is plan it if you want to go for paid plan so it is there so this is about you know 
your change of the profile now this is the home page in the home page you can see trending in other so these are trending videos video clips or video lessons now I will go to my content first so see here there is no content it's a new account brand new account so there is no content now I I need to make some video lesson so how to make it so there are three ways first you record your own video and it will be saved in your computer or Google Drive from there from here you can add content and then you have to upload a video from your drive so it is your video so that video you can make interactive by adding questions comments notes voice etc so that the students become active learners now if you don't have a recorded video so you can create a video you will see that this add puzzle videos will come here so these are already video lessons see here these bullet shows some some embedding is there then if I scroll it down I'll find some YouTube videos also but these videos I don't want to embed I don't need them I don't want to make them lesson for my students I need some other videos for example now I want to you know use my own video which is uploaded in YouTube to make a video lesson to so suppose if I open YouTube browser and I type global teacher educator my YouTube channel I, I enter it so this is my channel global teacher educator I click over it and I find these two videos suppose I want to use this video to make a lesson so we select it now after selecting it I will copy its URL not in cut okay I have cut it no problem now then I will you know paste it here and then I will search it so now my video is over here this came from the YouTube channel now in this video this uh, you know page is editor of add puzzle so now I can edit here this video so the first is cut it means I can trim my video voice over here I can put my own voice over the voice of this video it means the voice of the video will no longer be, remain there and instead of that my voice will appear then these are the questions I have to add these questions in this video so how could I add I will tell you but the nature of these questions are like this multiple choice question open ended question and notes now these three I can add in my video add means embedding so I, I can embed these three kind of questions in my video to make it interactive later students will answer them or watch them so how to do it I will tell you one by one first the video size is 32.26 minutes so it's very powerful this cut is very powerful here if you want to show only a short video you don't want to use this big video so you can cut it short and only those information which you feel are good for the students you can use them and so if you for scroll, our teachers this uh, bar above for trimming like this and from also from here you can trim it now here it, it, it is appearing again it will appear again now from here I am tripping it so now this much is the video I think the length is around 7.11 even I want less than this so because I am just demonstrating you so now it is 3.31 
so this is the length of the video now this much will be shown to the students now it's good now second is adding the voice now the moment I went to voice over here the video size is 3.31 so I have to trim the video as per the needs and what I want to show to my students so now here I want to add voice recorder or voice over so here the option will come here this start recording but here the option is not coming right now multiple questions choice question is there I go back to it if I start this, so this it will model. come no it is not coming. so no yet. see this yes, it is coming so now this start recording button has you know showing me so now here I will you know record my voice over so now let's start I'm going to start it today I'm going to teach you about e-learning and apps so now I have recorded this voice now just check it from here you can check your voice whether it is clear or not today I'm going to teach you so this this much come if you don't like this voice you can delete it from here if you if you it's okay then it is there already so now this yellow sign shows that you have some voice over so during this period the video voice will not appear here only your voice will come here now come to the questions now the questions you can use multiple choice question open-ended questions and notes so first I will start notes suppose I want to give notes here little bit ahead here at this point 0 0.17 I want to put some note suppose this is the note now note you can give in two ways one either you type a text or you can record your note through this microphone icon so suppose I want to record first I click on icon so what are the classification I have already explained you but in research we have not done it so far so suppose this is uh, I have recorded one note for the students I want to hear it so what are the classification I have already explained you but in research we have not done it so far so now this is a note audio note if you don't like it you can again record it you can delete it from here if it is ok you can say save so this is audio note it is showing that it is saving it so after that if I want to record you know another so note own so in other note suppose I want to record it here these modules which are already so here I want to add one more note this time text note so I'll write here add puzzle is a add puzzle is a powerful tool so now you can give you know more information to your students through notes they can go through it and they will get more information maybe it is not available in the video so you are adding it here so you saved it there now so what you have, we have done it will look like that note will look like that add puzzle is a powerful tool so now you will press continue there so they are so now this video is going on now you have added one voice over then one you know audio note then here you have added one text note now here I want to add open-ended question so as the name suggests open-ended means here the question is open for all and the students can write their own answers suppose I write what is a puzzle now I save it 
now this open ended question will be like this so when they this will come one box will also come and they have to type it after typing they can go further here grading will not be done because they have to write it here and then the later the teacher will check it when he will see it suppose if i click here then i will now this open ended question is over now multiple choice questions as you know that mcqs first you will write here at puzzle is a dash 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 now options i have to write here video recorder if it is the right answer you will click right but it is wrong so i am putting wrong so this is wrong option now next i am writing video lesson creator so now this answer is right so i am putting it right so it will appear like this if you want to add more options you can add it from here add another answer choice now you should save it so we'll go to it will appear like this to students the question will be like this multiple add puzzle is a dash and then student has a choice to choose from these two we'll then go will to continue. another page so now multiple choice question i have added so now almost everything i have added here so this video is complete and it became a video lesson so now i finish it here after finishing now you know what should i do now i should assign it to my class so i press the assign button so i will find assign to a class here some classes should be shown but here there is no class so you can add your own class new class from here or you can do it later also and if you assign to the class then you can write date time of the start due date when they are going to finish and whether they will see whole video without skipping or with speaking so you can choose here prevent skipping on now then public links if you don't want to you don't want your students to go through the class but you want to share the public link with your students so that is possible they will not join this add puzzle but you will send the link through email or through whatsapp or telegram you can share the link with the students and from that link they can access that video but from public link you cannot see their performance now suppose i copy this link this is public link and this is embedded code also now i copied it now i close it here so i can save that link anywhere maybe in whatsapp or in your somewhere to send the email or something like that you have to save that and you have to share it with your students now after assigning this uh, video creation is complete let's see it how is it working so it will appear like this so now see this e learning and this watch apps. this video you is you can choose any of the courses on. why i am telling these courses because if you want to create your own now uh, what is coming here a note or your note here so the the video is automatically is paused it is known as forced pause the student didn't do it it happened itself so, so here the video is paused now the student cannot go ahead either they skip if you allow them they will rewatch or they will listen this note so now i am listening this note by clicking on this icon so what are the classification i have already explained you but in research we have not done it so far now after listening i will press continue then only i can go ahead in this video uh, own i continue now the learning is continue uh, learning so now object so it will 
already yeah, available to for you one. and give the link to them and now. you can say to them that they can learn from these modules which are already Save now there. and the note has come which I have already saved now notice add puzzle is a powerful tool so I have to watch it read it or I can rewatch the video I can skip this also now after reading I will continue there so they are now as open after that resource what you I have done find many courses I which have is related to you given so that you get questions so now it will online. come here. so suppose so now this video is in continuation but automatically it paused when this open any question come here I cannot submit it first I have to write it here or so I write what is at puzzle video lesson creator now I submit the answer here there are no grades given to me because grades will be given after the teacher will see whether the answer is right or not because it is open anyone can write anything here so now after writing this submitting it they will continue suppose if I click here then I will now again that another question will come and the question is multiple choice question e add puzzle is a video recorder or lesson creator suppose I choose the wrong one I submit it now I have given 0 out of 100 so see marks are or grades are also given and then I have shown that this is a wrong answer and the video lesson is catered is right one so here this is red in color if the answer is wrong it is red in color if the answer is right it will be green in color so next continue we'll go so to this another way, page this video lesson is complete and the the link you have shared that, that is public link you can share it with your students and through clicking that link they will go to this video and they will see it and it is interactive in this way you can make your own video lesson very easily I hope this you will incorporate in your real life also now after that I will show you that how to go for now I'll go back from here now the video is complete now I will go to add puzzle now I will find this video here in my content in this add puzzle interface under my content I have three videos these videos I have already created these are video lessons or clips now I have to assign these clips to my students or classes so before assigning to my classes I must have some classes so let's add some classes so I already have one class and this is the class there and I have already assigned one video to it see this this is assigned no due date now the student so this is assigned so it shows the code of the, this class already I made it it has one student and this is I can invite more students from here now but I don't uh, want to assign new video in this class but instead I want to create a new class so I can create a class in three ways first I can create a class through Google Classroom or I can create class through classic mode so classic type or open type so there are three one Google classroom the other is classic type the other open type so there's a difference between two two I'll tell you or I'll show you later now first I am creating this class classic class so name is classic class ten now create now this is the new class classic class no assignments no due date no students 
so we don't have any student here we have not assigned any any you know video click to it no students. so we can invite students from here but before inviting I want to open another class and that is open class so open class 20 you can even describe here you can give the description of the class and then you want open class so this is class is created so now I have you know I have created two new classes one is classic class and one is open class so just check this open class in open class we are having due assignments and due dates there is no option for students in classic class we have due assignments due date and students so this is extra here we are having this option students but in open class we don't have any option of students it is open so for joining this class we don't need any code even there is no code you can see there is no code class code because uh, here also this is a class where the students are there so this is the difference between these two in open class we cannot track the record of these students because we don't have any student option here but in classic class we can track the record of the students how many times they have seen your video lesson or how he has done the answers what is his gates and scores but in open class it is not possible now the other difference between these two is that for classic class it is good for those students who are you know in secondary level you can say they can have their own account at puzzle account and three at puzzle account they can log in to their account so for classic class login you know login is must it means a student must have their own at puzzle account through them through it they can access their material they can learn your video lesson but for open classes they don't need to log in it means they don't need to have their account in add puzzle without it they can just join the class by the link which you will share with the student so this is the difference between these two you know classes so now come to the classic class so now this uh, in this way we have created two classes now I come to my content I go to my content here even you can search the content from here if you want to assign some content to these classes now I want to assign this video which I have already made so this video is mine so I want to share it with the student I want to assign it here no edit because I have already assigned this video to one class so I cannot edit it now so assign now this is already you know created account so I want to assign this to classic class now assign now after assigning now I have to you know give them due date also this is 21 the start date now due date is you can say 23 is the due date now I'll save this here the option is also there preventing or skipping so if I keep it on it means students have to see whole clip they cannot escape they cannot skip from the video so I suggest that you must go from it we are having this option also go live uh, when we assign to the class we can assign uh, even go live also anyhow now this is you know uh, we have assigned to the class here we can change the you know edit the name of the this uh, lecture from here now I go back to my interface and now from there I want to go to my classes now I just you know assigned one you know this video lesson to class classic class 10 so this is the video you did so no due date now students this is the class code now I have there's no student here so now I have to invite the students I have to share either link or the I have to email so this is the link and this is the email I can send the email also now for my convenience I am copying the link 
link is copied now i am you can share this link with you know whatsapp or with uh, with any other medium but now i want to share this link with sending email to my student so i pasted it here i send this message now the moment i send this message now this message will be received by my student and when he will receive this this uh, you know email then he will see it and after seeing it uh, he will join the lesson or class so this is the link now he received the message now this is a gmail account of my student the link i shared with him i sent email through google teacher account to him and this is the email i open this email now from here this is the link he will click here after clicking he will get this message this add puzzle will open say join and this is the class code now this is the message to the student class 6 class 10 is a class it is class of dr s joshi and class code is this now from here either he will cancel or he will join the class so let's see joins the class now he joined the class and now one new assignment so the, see this global teacher educator he is already the one class he is already there but now this interface is of the student now this is not the teacher this is the interface of the student it would look like that now see one assignment i have given him as a teacher no due date no completion so he has not completed it now here he will you know start it is today due date is 23rd so he can start right now suppose he starts it so now he is watching this video he is watching it so now see this today i am going to teach you about so the student will watch it and apps. after watching you can now suppose he has watched it now now how this you know this is the interface of you know student so now how this uh, you know interface uh, whatever the student is doing could be seen by the teacher in his add puzzle account so let me go to teachers account and so here is the teachers account I have to go to the add puzzle account of teacher now this is the add puzzle account of the teacher now he has already invited one student now this is the class again if I these are my classes I will refresh it so that I will see is something is happening in my you know class or not so again I am going to my class now see this this is a class classic class 10 I have added this student now he has opened the link and this is what is happening so this is student one student is there so new assignment yes this is the assignment to this class no due date a student is there so he is not done up so far so this is there now these these two this classical 20 so i already differentiated between the classical class and open class in classic class 10 or in classic class you can you know track the record of the student in open class there is no such option there is no student option so you cannot track the performance or the activity of the i explained theoretical difference between classic class and open class now let's see the practical difference between these two for that we should go to the you know students account and in students account we will see what is going on there now in students account this is the interface of the student now due assignment there is no due assignment now it means the student has completed this assignment no due date so now 
it must be here now I have seen this okay so this is the graded assignment show all one so it is here it means it is done here so now learn to create and manage online classes in 30 minutes now see the grid 100 turn in date today and you did 30 it means he has completed it and it's good it means now if I again press it here hide it okay again show it if I say I click here so now this is the video it means he has completed the task and now he completed 100% here you can see in the interface of the student correct responses 2 oblique 2 out of 100 so this is his student's account now I go back to teacher's account in teacher's account we'll see uh, what's there now in teacher's account uh, the classic class is the class now see one new assignment it is showing and now one new answer it means something is there turn in now the student has turn in out of one there's only one student in this uh, you know class and that one is turned up so this is turn in so now he has turned in and he has done something now one new answer let's see what is this one new answer one first grade okay student name is this he watched the video 100% an hour ago turn in on time now I'll click on grade so there is no grade why there is no grade okay it means grade is not there why there is no grade because uh, there is one question which is open and a end it so we'll see it now we'll go to this students now this is students so this assignment is complete and this is really very slow network I guess so this these uh, this is a track record of the student from this track we came to know that how much percent the student has watched so in this way the previous video he has watched any comment it is for the teachers to write mark ungraded as incorrect so now this is the question which is to be graded pending to be graded now this question is there and the teacher has to grade it so the question was what is e at puzzle so it's online game so this is answer is wrong it means the student should be graded this is wrong answer so now I have graded him network is slow so now I have graded it show all now video recorder wrong answer 0% right answer 100% and that open ended answer here it is shown it's wrong answer online so if you want to give comment you can give comment also if you give comment here it will be reflected in the students account so in this way you can find out that how the student has now this you can see grade book now we will go to the grade book in grade book now see total score out of 150 is the grade is the mark total time spent 4 minutes and this video the, the overall he got 50 marks so now from here you can see that that grade is 50 out of 100 watch time 100 percent correct answer 1 out of 2 and now here see this record you will see this record for every student it's really amazing 
number of times student watch each section of your video so the student has watched one time all these parts sometimes students they, they watch two time three time so it will be reflected here so this is really very good so this grading you know gradebook is really very good here you can see the performance of your students and from here you can get the data also explored gradebook so if you click here you will get one excel sheet in your desktop and that excel sheet will contain all the students with their grading marks and everything so in this way you can see the performance so it is working like a learning management platform so friends this is all about how to make video lessons i hope you might have learned a new skill and you will use it in your teaching practice and if you have any queries please give me comments in my youtube channel global teacher educator and please subscribe to this youtube channel thank you thank you very much